pounding and take showers, throw your clothes away and do it again. 15 days. Got it all cleaned up though, looks uh, good as new. The guys worked all night, got everything done, so. Hopefully we have a good day. What go I as usual? <laughs> oh my, Beardy made it. Yeah, I had to clean out the interior, full hard material. Um, it was full of mud, so I had to take forever to try to get everything cleaned off. And had to watch the seats, take the seats off, and try to download the data as well. Just a bunch of stuff. Beardy made it. Uh, we would have been done about let's say about 2.30 in the morning, service in Robbie's car, but uh, instead we decided to help our comrades on Hummer 2, which put us uh, into the all-nighter, and um, let's just say uh, I'm not disappointed, but I'm not happy. NASA caught me about 70k in, right in the dune section, and um, we just we just basically dune run together uh, all the way through the dunes, and it was um, it was awesome to watch, and uh, he's 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 smooth in the dunes and, and very fast. Fun to watch my cars work. I never get to really watch them, but uh, they look good. They handle well. I'm happy yeah. to go rat. We're, we've got a long ways to go, and um, this is a stage that we struggled in a couple years ago, and uh, for us to only get beat. A minute, um, not a big deal because I turned around to check on these guys and I lost my minute right there. So, um, as far as you know, NASA's car, I don't know, I've never seen that happen before. I've been running these cars a so, long time. So, you got a problem with the, his engine or no, no problem with the engine. Uh, he, he, I think he shut it off early enough. We'll get to diagnose it here in a little while, but um, it bottomed out so hard that it bent the, um, the rear support for the tire and obviously then it came loose. And, um, it is what it is. But he's, he's doing a good job. During the stage today, when we were uh, battling out there in the dunes, uh, you know, Nasser was pushing really hard, and uh, he came up behind us, and and I could tell Rob wanted to push and and stay ahead of him. But uh, you know, it was like like I told Rob, it was you know, hey, yesterday we lost 25 minutes and we got beat by 16. I go, we need to just keep the same pace we've been going because we if we you know, just have problem-free days, you know, we can win this thing. And so, you know, my advice to him was, during the drive, was just, let's just keep our pace, you know, and let's conserve the motor and conserve the equipment. And, and uh, if we got to step it up, we'll, we'll step it up when we need to. So it, it was a good call, and uh, he, was, he, he was in agreement for that strategy. And uh, so we let Nasser go for a while, and he was really, really going hard. And, uh, but then again, you know, they had an issue today, and maybe that, that caused them a problem. It was good, uh, good pace. Man. We enjoy a lot, but uh, except uh, the problem we stop, you know, and uh, we see the temperature uh, engine very high, and we stop and we we prepare uh, the pipe. But okay, we lose a lot of time, you know. And you'll have to take my word for the battle in the dunes because it was awesome. Because I, <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> I screwed up and I didn't turn on the GoPro.